What's going on, everybody? This is Lee, the video game trick guy. Just had a interesting story to share with you. But uh, the whole moral of the story is sometimes when you're going to do something, it's going to be very difficult and it's going to seem like many people don't like you. <laughs> so I live uh, in an apartment complex because it's right next to where I have one of my warehouses now where I work, do manufacturing. And so instead of buying a house somewhere and having to drive, uh, it takes me now like three minutes to get to work. So I am living in this apartment complex and they started construction and they started removing the roofs. And as they started removing the roofs, like there's all this mold coming up, right? I mean, it was just loud. There's generators at the top. And you know, I went to management and I said, hey, listen, there's a lot of dust flying around here, like beyond normal. Is it something you could do about it? And they said, well, you know, it's the construction company. So basically they gave me the runaround. And I said, okay, right? And then I went and talked to one of the guys that was working in construction. I'm like, hey man, like, there's a lot of, uh, like there's a lot of stuff flying around over here, man. Like, is it possible to do something about it? And so the construction guy said like, look, basically he also said, he's just, he works there. He, he's not the one in charge. I went back to management. They gave me the runaround again. I said, all right, we're gonna solve this problem in a very unorthodox fashion now. So what I, I took my camera and I went around as they were doing construction. And I started talking to directly to people. I said, hey man, is that mold? What's that dust? And I got all of this recorded, right? So once that was recorded, I submitted the video to the construction company and to the corporate office of the, you know, the apartment building corporate office. And what happened next was very interesting. What happened was, there was over 300 views and 50 uh, thumbs down uh, on the video. Down, you know, you know, like when someone does like a V on YouTube, they put a thumbs down. And that was like all within a day. And so I'm looking at that, I'm like, man, there's a whole bunch of people who are pissed off. Like these people are pissed. Management's not looking me in the eye anymore, right? They don't like me. They're like, who the hell is this guy? Talking to people working. Right, and I brought the concern up to the construction company and to uh, management. Well, long story short, the following day they stopped construction and they brought in a whole bunch of uh, uh, not mats, uh, plastic tarps, and they plastic tarped the entire building so that as they're ripping out the roofs and stuff, all that stuff wouldn't be flying down onto the residents. What is the moral of the story? Moral of the story is a lot of times people are not going to like you. Uh, they are going to look at you and they're going to say, well, why should I do anything? Why should I help you? Why should I do anything for you? Right? You're doing what you're doing. It's not up to me. You go do what you, what you do. And if you happen to cause any kind of discomfort for somebody in order for you to get, you know, to what you need to do, uh, it's gonna cause friction, right? And a lot of people will not want to do that. Why would you put yourself out on a limb in order to achieve something what you want? Well, the thing is, as I've learned through my YouTube career and uh, building trailers, working with people, a lot of times you have to break some eggs. And when you do that, you're gonna piss some people off. That's just the way it is. That is not the intention, but that happens. And so for a moment there, when I was looking at this, right, like 50 plus thumbs down, I'm thinking to myself, wow, did I bite off too much? Looking at this, I'm like, wow, <laughs> they, are, they really don't like me. But here's the thing, it caused the result. And the reason it caused the result was because an action was taken that required putting yourself out on the limb. You know you're gonna get criticized. People aren't gonna like you. 
right? And the theme is that I have encountered things like this ever since I started the video game truck business. Like there will be obstacles that you will encounter and you will have to ask yourself, how do I troubleshoot this problem? Right? So for a moment there, I was like, man, people really don't like me. <laughs> but at the same time, I realized, you know what? It doesn't really matter. You will not please everyone. Running a business is not the easiest thing. So if you want to get something done, what are you doing to go out on the limb? How far are you willing to put yourself out there to where you're like, wow, people are not going to like me. But that was just an example of that particular incident, right? And I know that now the management will not like me very much. They're probably going to look at me sideways. The thing is, sometimes you have to do certain things regardless of what people think. Which brings me to the next point. Everything we do right now, especially on social media, someone's not going to like it. It is going to get criticized. That's just the way it is, right? With that said, right now when it comes to business operations, starting a business and running a business, many of you might disagree with me on, but this is my take on it. This is one of the easiest times to start a business. Like one of the easiest times because the majority of people will not go out on a limb. And the way things are right now, as far as what has happened in the last year in 2020, uh, just looking in general at people, a lot of people retracted. They've retracted their actions. They have slowed down everything that they're doing. For many, the motivation factor isn't there. Uh, a lot of people are afraid, right? Um, I don't know what happened exactly, but it seems like all this opportunity opened up and many don't see it. The level of difficulty has dropped. It has dropped <laughs> and a lot of people went into their shells, right? So that's the second part of the video I want to talk to you about. The opportunity right now is insane. There's a lot of it, but it's not gonna happen for many. It's not gonna happen for many because, well, there's part one and part two. Part one, sorry, there's a car. <laughs> so part one, it's not gonna happen because people are afraid to put themselves out on the limb. Part two, in the last year, a lot of people have retracted not just the way they think, but their actions in general as a whole. But here's the other thing. People still want to party. The economy is opening up, right? And so whoever can get through the BS and understanding that as they do what they do, many will not like them. In the end, if you can achieve the results, right, the world is yours. Will it be easy? No. But there's so much more opportunity now. There's so much more of it because so many people have shut down. The barrier of entry is now easier than what it was before. But due to fear, <clears throat> a lot of people just don't see that and I hope you do